Hey guys, what's up? Nick here once again, and today we're gonna figure out if studio headphones are better than gaming headphones when it comes to gaming. So let's get right into it. So for this video, we're gonna go over a few different topics when it comes to the, the differences between studio grade headphones and gaming headsets uh, when it comes to gaming or like using it for other purposes than just audio mixing for studio headphones and then obviously gaming for gaming headsets. Now I have four different headsets here on my desk. I have the one that I'm currently using as like my daily use headphone for everything. It's the ATH MSR7Bs. These are amazing. I've been loving these. I have an unboxing and first impression video on my channel. Definitely recommend it. If you've never heard of these, they're about Audio Technica. Um, I love these things. They're great. They're great for all the round purposes. Now, on the other spectrum, I do have the DT770 Pros. These are obviously very high grade studio headphones these are meant for a flat sound and signature audio mixing all that stuff very popular in the music industry and then going into the gaming side i have the astro a50s wireless gaming headset i have a full review on my channel as well of this one of if not my favorite gaming headset of all time i still use it from time to time just for fun and then on the cheaper spectrum we have the corsair void headset which this is the non-rgb version this is the original i've had this for like going on six years now it's been a long time Still works to this day. It's still a good wireless gaming headset, but it's roughly around $50 to $60 if you buy it brand new. So obviously cheaper on the spectrum. So for this video, I wrote down some bulleted points on a Word document here just to go over. So if you see me looking over here, that's why. And it's gonna show the differences between a studio grade headset and a gaming headset, because if you're an average consumer, you're probably gonna go to the store and not know the difference between them. Or you're just gonna say, well, my son wants to go become a gamer or whatever. He wants to play games, he wants a good headset. I'm gonna look for a gaming headset. Instead of having the mindset of, maybe I should look at a more better sound quality studio headset that could work eventually just as good, if not better than a gaming headset when it comes to gaming. But there is downsides to both. So we're gonna get over those in a second. So first we're gonna go over the good things of both gaming headsets versus the studio headsets. So looking at a pair of studio grade heads headphones, so such as my DT77 Pros here, which these were my like main headset I've used for the past year. Absolutely love these things. They're very comfortable, amazing sound signature, all of the above. Overall, you have a very flat sound signature, which is what you're gonna get with 99% of studio headphones. So what that means is it's gonna be a flat neutral sound between the highs, the mids, and the lows, basically to keep it as neutral as possible. So it's not over accentuating anything to dampen the sound or muddy up the sound uh, if you are going into an audio mixing format because you want the clearest quality of all time, right? And with that clear sound, that obviously is gonna help in a lot of situations in gaming, especially in competitive sense nature. So if you're playing a competitive sense game, I don't know, let's say like Warzone, for instance, and you wanna be able to hear every little footstep around you with a studio grade headset, in my opinion, in my testing, you're going to hear them way more often than you would with a bassier type headset like a gaming headset it's just going to happen so when it comes to studio headsets it's all about the clarity the best sound you can get out of a pair of headphones you get that very clear sound the, the, the only thing is you're going to get a little bit less bass some people prefer that though personally i'm one of those people i don't like a lot of bass eh, muddying up my music my entertainment my gaming so you're going to get a lot less bass with these guys but again you get the better clarity because of it no tampering with the audio, so you get a much richer playback. And if you want a surround sound type feature uh, that you can get with these gaming headsets, which I'll get more into that in a minute, you can always download a program on your PC. This will not work for consoles, but on PC called Dolby Atmos. I have a whole video about that. I'll have a link in the description for that one. It's a very important video. It's basically to get a surround sound for any headset on the market for free. So definitely check that one out. When swapping over to a gaming headset, obviously the biggest thing that's great about these when it comes to gaming, they're made for gaming. They are literally plug and play and usually work with any gaming console or PC. Just plug and go. And the other thing is 99% of these are now wireless, which is a huge, huge plus in my opinion. Wireless gaming is just, it's next gen nature at this point. It's really nice to be able to get up, grab a beer from your fridge and get back into the game without any issues, without worrying about tugging on wires, especially if you have animals or kids around the house, you have to worry about them tugging on it and breaking your headset. So wireless is definitely the future and the way to go, but you are resulting in, I guess, technically worse sound quality because let's face it, the technology 
isn't 100% there yet to have the same audio quality from a cable that you can get wirelessly. It will get there, I'm pretty sure, one day, but for right now, technically wireless capabilities just aren't there for the same amount of audio quality you get from a cable device. But now we're gonna get in the main reason why I personally feel that the studio grade headsets are better than the gaming headsets when it comes to gaming. Because when it comes to gaming headsets, the biggest thing that I notice is so many of them throw out the 7.1 surround sound gimmick. There technically is never going to be a surround sound headset. Maybe if you buy a headset that somehow implements some type of speakers to go behind you and in front of you at the same time, but there's really no way to do that. So what these do is they have a stereo headset, which is two speakers on both sides of your head, just like any other pair of headphones. But they essentially heighten the sound signature to make you feel like it's more immersive as a surround sound. It's just, it's a gimmick. It's not true. It doesn't work that well. And in my testing with 99% of these head headsets, the surround sound feature ends up ruining the sound quality. I just prefer the flat studio sound. Just give me that, that's all I need. I do like that a lot of these come with software pre-installed or through a software you can download on your PC that allows you to change the equalizer settings so you can add more bass or less bass or whatever you want to do to change up the sound signature to be more of your liking. But you're never going to get that true flat sound signature that you're going to get from a studio grade headset. It's just you're never going to get that clarity. There's always going to be a little bit more bass muddying up the sound signature, but the point of that is to have a more immersive sound, you know, a more immersive experience when playing a video game. So it really comes down to, are you looking for a headset that's going to draw you into the experience to have a more entertaining time? Or are you looking for a headset that's going to actually help you in your gameplay uh, in a competitive sense? And personally, when you're looking at that side, I think the studio headsets are going to win every single time because of that clarity. But if you are looking for a more immersive experience, gaming headsets do the job just fine, if not amazingly. We've already talked about the better sound quality, the clarity and all that on these studio headsets, but there are some downsides to them, which I'm going to obviously get into. The major downside with a lot of studio headphones is they need a lot of power to run efficiently, which means they run off higher amounts of ohms. So a regular pair of headphones are anywhere from like 20 to 40 ohms, which is relatively an average amount of power needed to run a headset. So that's just like plugging it into your iPhone uh, or into a gaming console and it would be ready to go, no problem. So this headset right here, my DT770 Pros are 250 ohms. So they definitely need an extra device to gain that power to run efficiently, which is like a studio mixer or audio converter that can output that amount of power to run, you know, correctly. And Obviously, that's not going to be the ideal format for most people. They're not going to be running out and paying $200 for headset, and then they have to pay another $200 for a mixer or audio converter to run said headset, unless they're doing it in a professional manner. So that's why a lot of people probably will turn their heads against studio headsets, but there are some out there, like the ADH here, that do not need that much power. These are only, I believe, 42 ohms. So these will run just on any gaming console and it's a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. So you just plug it in and you're ready to go. So it'll work with gaming consoles or any PC. I still run it through my audio converter because I have that set up with my DTs, but it's just, you don't need it, which is awesome. The other issue, which I kind of just brought up is some of them don't come with a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, which is what you need for every typical gaming console out there today and most PCs. Now, if you have a converter, which you can buy, they're, they're pretty relatively cheap on Amazon. And they're going to look something like this or this. Uh, there's two different versions. Essentially, they just you plug in one end to the top part here and it converts it into different sizes. So this actually converts a 3.5 into a quarter inch adapter. And this is the one most people will be looking for, which is a quarter inch to a 3.5 millimeter, which is the typical headphone jack. So you'll need something like this to convert them, which again is an extra purchase, which could turn some people away. But most studio headsets that I've found do come with a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and they actually include a converter to a quarter inch if you have it for like a mixer or something like that, which is really nice. I really do enjoy that. And lastly, obviously, because it's a better sound signature, it's going to be wired. No wireless studio headsets are going to be made, at least not in the next five years. So maybe one day I'll, I'll live to see that, which would be amazing. But for right now, they are all wired. So you do have to deal with the, the noisy cables and they can get caught on stuff and that can be annoying and it can damage over time. So obviously that is one big leg up for gaming headsets is a lot of them are wireless. 
They also mostly come with a pre-built-in microphone. Now, these microphones are usually pretty garbage, not gonna lie. They're really just, if you don't have anything else, they're at least there. Um, and a lot of people still use them, you know, for gaming comms within their games or through Discord or whatever you're doing. But let's face it, if you're a PC gamer, you're more than likely going to have a separate microphone or a Blue Yeti or something uh, to, to have that will be better than a headset microphone. But I gotta hand it to him that the major feature is just the ease of use when it comes to gaming headsets. My major point, especially when it comes to expensive gaming headsets that are 200 or more dollars, you really have to stop and think and realize, is this really where I should be putting my money towards? Am I buying a gaming headset to hopefully heighten my gaming experience and get better at the game? Or am I buying a headset just to feel cool or to at least be more immersed in the sound quality, right? If that's the case, if you're the second one, the latter, I personally would go with a cheaper gaming headset. That, that would be my recommendation. 60 to $70 headset, you don't need an expensive one because you're not looking for the best clarity and you're just looking to heighten your experience just to have fun. Now, if you are looking for absolute clarity and to get better at your game, I wouldn't even recommend a more expensive headset, honestly. I would recommend going towards a studio monitor headset. The main reason for that, again, you can spend $400 or whatever this is right now on sale, and you get a very decent gaming headset, very comfortable, it's got a built-in microphone, it's pretty decent, a good battery life, it's wireless, and it's got good sound but you're not gonna get that clarity that you can get from a studio headset for the same price. So in the end, if you can ditch the wireless capabilities and the built-in microphone, the studio headset is gonna blow these out of the water every single time when it comes to sound quality, and it's gonna heighten your gaming experience. I can tell you firsthand when switching from a gaming headset to a studio monitor headset within gaming experiences, I've done so much better in so many scenarios even yesterday i had a friend like freak out he said how the hell did you hear that guy coming up behind you i have he has the same headset here as the the eight the uh, astro a50s and he could not hear that guy coming up behind me but i was able to turn around and annihilate him because i heard him through the clarity of my studio headset so this is one of those things where you're gonna have to take my opinion with a grain of salt and this is just my opinion but I wanted to show the differences essentially between a studio grade headset and a gaming headset centered around gaming and what you're getting in the box for your money. But in the end, when it comes to gaming headsets, I really do feel companies like to bank on the gamer name to appease to this gamer market because it's a big money maker for a lot of these companies, which is kind of sad because to the average consumer, they're going to see gaming on the, the title of the headset and think it's going to be the best thing they can get. Obviously, there's going to be differences between a $60 gaming headset like the Corsair Void and a $400 or $300 headset like the Astro A50s. But really, when it comes to gaming headsets, the biggest difference is, other than a little bit better speakers, is you're getting better build quality, a more comfortable build, maybe a better microphone, and better wireless connectivity. And when it comes to like the Astros, you get your own battle station, like charging station, all this stuff. It's these added features around it but nothing really changes when it comes to the audio quality. So if you want the absolute best audio quality, you're always gonna get the best out of a studio headset because that's what these are made for. They're not made for the looks, they're not made for an extra microphone built on the side, they're not made for bass, they are made for audio quality. Or gaming headsets, they're gonna be good for gaming, but you're not gonna get that best audio quality that's actually going to heighten your gaming experience like you can with a studio headset. What do you have in the comment section below? I would love to know. Do you have a studio grade headset when it comes to gaming or do you use a gaming headset or do you have neither and you're coming to this video to figure out what should you buy? Let me know. I would love to see what you guys have to say and I would love to answer any questions you may have of anything I may not have answered in this video or if you have a specific question based on the headset that I've shown in this video, let me know in the comment section below. Again, on my channel, I have a full video review of the Astro A50s. I have a full video unboxing and overview of the ATH MSR7Bs. Highly, highly recommend go checking them out and give a subscribe if you like the content. I truly, truly love making it, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace out.